All right, get ready for this throwback. This is a 1975 Chevy Vega Camelback. Um, they have some other names. They have some other versions of this. But this is the sought-after um, wagon version of this Vega. If you've seen these on the racetrack, um, like I said, there's other versions of them. The coupe. Um, I don't think there's a sedan, but this is the hatchback. And they take these to the racetrack, uh, sub them out. Put big tires on them, big 350s, 305s, and all that big good stuff, and drop them in here. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a time capsule that's been sitting 30 years under a barn. And take a look at the pictures in the ad, and you'll see. Um, actually, you can just see right here. Look at the last inspection. <laughs> that speaks for itself. Wait till we open everything up. But uh, but yeah, I got this from a client, and um, she's ready to sell it. Nothing has been done to this other than wiping the dust off just to be able to see what's under it. And typically, I don't even like to do that because I like my clients to uncover, unwrap, unopen their, open up their treasures, the treasure boxes when it comes to these old cars that have been sitting for a while. So uh, we'll go through this one a little bit, but it will speak for itself. It even has a tow hitch. So how cool is that? 1975 Chevy Vega wagon Camelback. Now, let me tell you, it does show some rust, and I'm not sure how bad the rust is on this. But listen, it's not too bad. You can redo this car. Um, you can redo it. Um, look at that hood. See the condition of the rust. You can just patina this out if you wanted to, which is an idea I even thought about. Four-cylinder engine. Take a look at the engine before I go inside. When I go inside, you'll see how well-kept it's been. The cool thing about this engine, it's a four-cylinder uh it's been insulated meaning there was a, a lot of leaves and the fire re retarded material had fallen into this engine and kind of protected it so there's no cracks this thing will turn over um everything's there this car was running before it was parked uh it's got a two barrel holly carburetor look at that and uh everything's working nothing's frozen i would go through this car in and out though if your plan is to use this four cylinder which would be mine or if you're gonna take this engine out, there's no no word, no need, reason to even worry about redoing this engine. Uh, you'll be taking it out anyway. So um, yeah, uh, the gentleman that had this passed away unfortunately this past July, and the wife um, got got rid of a few cars, and um, this Vega kind of stuck around. So it just so happened it ends up in my hands, and I'm helping her sell it to the right person, the right enthusiast. That knows about these cars and knows its value. It'll be priced right. Um, not not into too many negotiations and haggling about this one because it speaks for itself. Let's look inside. All right, here we go. Inside is pristine. I say pristine because it hasn't been uh, exposed to moisture. Look at the side panels of the door panels. It's not warped. Even the plastic or the rubber ceiling, no cracks in this. I will tell you, there are little cracks here, but that's about all I'm finding on this car. So take a look at the seals. It's been preserved. Again, there is a little rust, but that's okay. When you see it, you'll see what, you'll, what you're able to do with it, uh, what can be done with it. And again, I would patina it out. But back to the interior. Let's look at it. We've got... <laughs> Apparently still had gas in it. I don't know how true that is, but I would drain that out, of course. But just look at that time capsule. And let me tell you, from my vantage point, it smells like grandma's house. It smells like 1975, 76. It has that smell. And I don't think that'll ever go out of here. Look at that uh, headliner, not even dripping. I think it's falling a little bit. Nope, it's not falling. Well, a little bit, but that's okay. It's not bad. And if I can get back there, I'll show you the hatchback. But before that, let's look at the, the gauge. 85,000 original miles on this thing. Look at that. 85. Manual, three speed. Original cassette deck. That's AM, FM, stereo. AC and heat, I'm assuming works. Original manuals are in this glove box. I can't reach it right now. But yeah, you got the original manuals and some of the oil changes and paperwork that goes with it. Now, uh, I like to keep that stuff because they're timepieces. You can't find anything um, 
you know, dating back that far anymore that's legible and not thrown away or has a material on it that you can't read it, like oil spills and stuff like that. But um, speaking of, look at the condition of this, of these seats. Look at that. Again, a good scrubbing. I chose not to clean this car up all the way. Again, I would like my client, customer to unravel this and put their sweat and love into it to clean it and come up with a finished product. Then they can look at it and see how much it's gonna to take to do whatever they need to do. I don't need to do that work. I've cleaned it up enough to show it. It speaks for itself and uh, that's it. Let's look at the back. All right, here's the back. I bet those are all six by nines. Look at that. Probably not even six by nines. But uh, again, a timepiece. I did take this out and I washed it just because. But here's your gas tank and all that stuff. I haven't even opened the, the back to be able to get to that. I just recently got this car. So it's ready to go to the next person that's ready to buy it. 1975. Chevy Vega, you won't find any of these in this condition anymore. Any of them, I'm telling you, even with the rust on this, it still qualifies as a great vehicle. These are original tires, original rims. And again, you can go and take these tires, take these rims, get new tires, of course. Take those rims and get them redone just to keep the original. Uh, have them sandblasted and painted. Take these off, put some bigger rims on. Make it into a dragster. Make it into a daily driver if you want just to turn heads i was going to turn it into a company car put my company logo on it and go to the racetrack and car shows i still might still might do that but for now um we'll go into chevy but for now this chevy is for sale there's another chevy back there and it happened to be a toyota but we're all chevy in this driveway pretty much and this Chevy Vega's in the driveway. It may not be for long if you want it. 1975 Chevy Vega Camelback Wagon Edition. Troy Barzillo Zillimates 980-729-4991. And we're here in Charlotte, North Carolina.